Hey guys, welcome to this week's Spotlight. Now today I've got an amazing individual. He's a musician and in fact, he's lyrically blessed because when I listened to his song, Thank I was just you. like, you know, I was trying to dance it. Wasn't, it wasn't working, but it'll work one day. Guys, don't go anywhere. Fun fact, myself and this awesome musician, we came to this country in the same year. So clearly, you know, we're just like awesome people. Don't go anywhere, watch this video and we'll be right back. So, how are you feeling? You traveled far. I am like, so yeah. I love the dedication and you know, to yeah. your art. Like, um, thank you. Um, so, when, when did music start for you? Um, music started for me about, I'll say, eight months ago. Wow. Yeah, about okay. eight months ago. So, literally. At this moment, I would say I'm, what I'm doing is literally trying to still solidify my foot in the industry. You yeah. know? I mean, it started shortly after we opened our studio, okay. Loops Entertainment Studio. Okay. And literally, one day I was just like, I've grown up in music, even as an African child being yeah. in Nigeria. You know, music is something that you're around every yeah. day. You know? So I just mm -hmm. said, you know what? Let me just sit down and focus for a couple of hours and yeah. actually see what I can make from it. And literally, that's where Toya Mother came out. And from then, it's been... <laughs> yeah, the sky is your starting point. You know, okay. it's just been wow. up, yeah. Because normally, when you hear, like, musicians, you hear, oh, you know, I've been in the industry five years, six years, and yeah. it's like eight months. So do you feel like, you know, like fish out of water or kind of like, I mean, nah. sometimes out of your depth, nah, maybe? absolutely not. Like, the reason why I say so is because prior to music, right? Yeah. I was an event organizer. Ah, I was a promoter. Okay. So I, I've always um, been in and around artists. And I've worked with like LAX. You know, yes. we did the concert in London, all white concert where we flew LAX down. Yeah. So I've worked with artists like Burner Boy, Mr. Yeah. Easy in the past, way before Malik Berry, way yeah. before I started music. So okay. I was literally one of those guys who promote events, put on shows and, yeah. you know, sell out, you know, loops entertainment events. Yes. Yeah. So it's always been in the background. It's wow. only about eight months ago oh. I decided to actually make that leap. It's like, you know what? It. Yeah. You can't you know, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> now, why not? <laughs> Properly. Yeah. I know. Amazing. Did I not tell you guys? Okay, so tell your mother. Yeah. I love the video. I love the fact that you were holding the flag and you know you weren't like yeah. a character there, like you were waving it and stuff. And I like your play on words, how you took like, you know, names of songs and you merged it to form the chorus. So talk yeah. us through the thought process. And again, the name of the song is Tell Your Mother. So Yeah, like, I yeah. mean there's a lot of meaning to the song. Okay. You know what I mean? And we shot the video in Kingston by the way. Nice. Yeah, that's where I stay at the moment. Okay. But yeah, Tell Your Mother for me is um it's a it's a club banger, right? Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah, it actually, is. it is, to, it is, a, it is. That, and I'm obviously, not, yeah. the time, the time I wrote the song, yeah. it was the time that the Shaku Shaku and the Zank, which is still trending which at the is, moment, actually, and I don't yes. think, I think it's going to be that it's way for a while. For a minute. Yeah. You see, so Tell Your Mother is basically like, I just imagine myself like in a club, right? Yeah. And there's that one beautiful girl yeah. who literally, has the full, you know what I mean? When you look yeah, at a, a typical <laughs> African lady, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's yeah. almost as if like, you want her, you want her, you, you want to marry her. It's yeah. almost as if you have that attraction towards yeah. her already. And it's almost as if, go and tell your mother that I'm pretty much coming for you. I want to yeah. grab this package. Yeah. I want to, yeah. So literally <laughs> okay. that was centered around the party environment as yeah. well, you see, so. I like that. And, and and obviously like the chorus. So you have to, you have to sing it for us a little bit for those guys <laughs> that haven't heard it. And if you haven't heard it, you have to go to YouTube. You see Jeanette. Like... <laughs> I never, as in, look at Jeanette. Her eyes is on my wallet. See yeah. money, come and collect. See money, come and collect. Yeah. I have connections. Yeah. I get yeah. to connect, you know. <laughs> so literally, yeah, you're all right. I did yeah. mix a lot of, um, yeah, it's almost as if like pepper soup. I know, it's just like a spring cleaner there, yeah. I get up by. Who 
is that one musician that's probably inspired you the most to even be where you are at at the moment and even get further? So who's that one artist that's inspired you to like, you know, to um, go out there? Or maybe no one. So so I, don't exactly, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. I was going to okay, say that. For me, okay, for me, okay. I, I look up to quite a lot of artists. Yeah. Even some in America, like someone like um, Tupac. Yeah. I listen to Tupac a lot mm. because of the things he, he, he so raps. Smart. And I'm so yeah. deep and I relate to a lot of that, you know? Yeah. And in terms of Nigeria, I would yeah. say Whiskey, because the reason I say so, I mean, you can probably look at him and be like, he's, he can't be the most inspiring artist out there. But for me, he's got, he's got, he's got this thing, right? That even yeah. in the next couple years or yes. years from now, he's yeah. always going to be there. That flow, that melodic, yeah. I love that about it's, him. It's, you know? it's like, I don't know, Whiskey is like, I think he's timeless. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no error you can fit him in. You know, music yes. is a very delicate, you know, it's a very delicate thing, you thing, see. Yeah. So, yeah. So, guys, um, Luce's name is actually Henry, so if you see him outside, you can call him Henry. <laughs> oh my God, Luce, thank you so, so, so much thank for your you time so today. Much for having amazing. Me. I love the insight. We're looking forward to six weeks, guys. Yeah. The merch is out. Like, look at this bed up, man. to the second half if you missed the first half you've missed out a lot because barbie has been entertaining everyone don't mind this girl just just <laughs> manga she's been telling me that I talk too much the way you killed that story with blessing uh, no, that was... we're talking about you need to go on our youtube page and watch the episode because it is hilarious story of the century I know, for me that, I that's know. got to be you know crazy and yeah. by the way guys that song you were listening to was by Luke Scott. Tell yes. your mama, tell I your know. mother if she misses Dami on the show. <laughs> right, right guys so next segment we've got Gail, NG with Fashion Connect. That's why, guys, come with me. I'll take you where good things happen in you fashion need, you need land. To go with her. Hi guys, welcome to another fabulous edition of Fashion Connect on the Buzz. I am your host, as always, Gail Ngozi is my name, and today I am going to do something slightly different on Fashion Connect. It's not that different. Basically, what I'm going to do today is called Style Diary of the Week. Now, on Style Diary, we tend to pick one celebrity or one super, super hot person that we really like their style, and we followed everything they've won for the week and connected with for the week. So this week, we are connecting with Dakore Egbusan Akande. So Dakore we saw Akande is actually a Nigerian actress who is at the top of her game. A lot of you will know her from Ida Isoka in the movie, which is fantastic. Chief Daddy, which is recent and very funny. There's 50, of course. Hey! And then, of course, the most recent one being Castle, which is a series going on right now. So, um, if you don't know Dakora Akande, Google her and you get to find out who she is. But Dakora is absolutely talented. She's also a multi-ambassador for numerous brands. So, I'm just trying to get let you guys know why I picked her. Because not only is she beautiful talented i absolutely love her style that is why we're doing star connect for the week on star diary with the chorus so stay tuned let's count down all right guys at number five is this beautiful dress that the chorus is wearing here in cans it's by mufa designs i love the dress because i think it's not only is it pretty and girly and flirtatious it is also very very versatile it's a dress you can wear from morning to evening to events or chilling out depending on what you wear on your feet sandals flats whatever you know high heels and i really really like the way she's rocked it she's made it look so simple with her hair and braids i think it is fabulous so uh this one in mufa designs yeah one of my top ones i like it Right, and number four this week on what the choreo was I'm really connecting with has got to be this fabulous green skirt by Uteroni. I absolutely love it. It's high-waisted, plus it looks like it could be a pinafore, actually, but it is a skirt with a white T-shirt that she rocked it with. Absolutely love the simplicity of it, but at the same time, the elegance of it. So you can raise it up with high heels or bring it down with, like, white flats, you know, trainers. I love the way she rocked it. And I think Uteroni actually did something amazing with this skirt because it fits in with everything this season is calling for. It is neon, it is a skirt, there's middle length, it is high-waisted, it's everything a girl wants in her fashion wardrobe. So this one, the Kauri at number four, is a great one. Well done, Uteroni. Well done. Okay, so at number three is this beautiful silver dress or gold dress. It looks silver and gold. It depends on what your screen is like um, that the Kauri is wearing in this Amstel Malt advert that she did with many, many beautiful women as well. I absolutely love the dress simply because it's gold or silver. I don't care. I like shiny things. You know, I... The, they call me magpie for a reason when it comes to fashion i love shiny things so i really really like this one and i love the way she rocked it so simple but at the same time she brought it to life with her makeup her big hair it just worked 
She posted it this week. I connected it with this week. So it made my number three or style diary for the week. At number two, it's got to be this beautiful outfit that Okora is wearing. As a matter of fact, the outfit is really, really simple in its own, for its own sake, but it works. And I really like it because even though it's very, it's very understated, you can also punch it up, you know? So um, the top is by Mufa Designs. I think Okora loves Mufa Designs. And then the pants are by Clan Ready to Wear. And I really, really like it. She wore it to the Morris Society Homecoming Dinner. And I have to say that just the simplicity of it all just takes takes my breath away and again is that thing where you can wear with high heels you spice it up or low heels and you just kind of like chill it down really like it so at number two it's got to be this combination for me love it right guys finally at number one this absolutely gorgeous dress that the Cora is wearing she's standing by the water i don't know where the picture was taken but it looks beautiful and it's a ruffle dress by lanre the silver ajayi who we all know is a super dope designer in nigeria i have to tell you this lanre for me is one of the top designers in nigeria and she does amazing things all the time rita dominic is also a firm favorite of theirs so um i have to say that my number one has got to be this dress simply because of its beauty its ruffles is everything and as a matter of fact, this dress demands attention. It demands to be seen. It demands to be noticed. So as soon as you see anyone wearing this dress, you have no choice but to look. And so it made it number one of what Dakori Akande wore for this week on Style Diaries. Now, which is your favorite? Which one are you connecting with? Because for me, personally, I'm connecting with number two. I tell you why, because that outfit for me is so understated, but at the same time, it is so versatile. You can do so much with it. So it, it, it's, a, it's a tight, it's a tight running, let me tell you, with the green uh, uh, skirt, but yeah, this one takes this one takes number one spot. I connect with that outfit. What about you? Which outfit do you connect with? Let me know. I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now. That's it for us, guys. It's been so, so, so quick. But it's guys, so quick, isn't I know. it? I Anything know. you may have missed, just check us out Bye. on our YouTube page, yes. The Buzz TV Show. Okay. For now, though, it's goodbye. Goodbye. Adieu. We'll see you later.